Hi, everyone. We're here with uh, Anna Tutova, CEO of Coins Telegram, and Kashyap Raza from Bitinnings. Um, we're here today to talk about um, the role of media in the crypto industry. Um, so I, I, I have a couple of you know just general topics that we could talk about. But um, if we could start off with you know each of you introducing yourselves and like your background uh, in the space, that would be great. So Anna, uh, will you like to start? Uh, yeah, hello everyone. My name is Anna Tutova. I'm from Ukraine and I'm CEO of Coins Telegram. And uh, we have a group of companies. We have fund, news media, uh, like news website, and as well YouTube channel. And additionally, we are PR agency, so we cooperate with a lot of other media in uh, both industries, in uh, traditional business and financial uh media and as well in crypto media okay that's awesome that's great so my, my name is kashif and uh, i've been in this industry for the past five years so i started uh, a venture called crypto kanun everybody must be aware of that uh, so we covered the rbi versus crypto case directly from the courtroom and uh, we had this community of close to one lakh people on crypto kanun and then i have started a, a new uh, platform with the name of Bitinning. The objective of Bitinning is to uh, is to uh, give you know the right education to people who are entering into this space. Uh, so we start with a YouTube channel and Twitter. Uh, in future plan is to get into you know online education as well. And uh, the whole objective is to give to present the right information in the simplest of way to people who are entering into this space, especially the people who are new to this industry. And in future, we are going to see massive influx of people entering into this space. So that's the whole objective. Yeah, awesome. Um, I'm Manu. I'm a head of content and marketing at Octoloop. Uh, I've been in the crypto space for about almost two years now. Um, worked with uh, like a news agency for a while now working in marketing and content. Um, but yeah, I mean, me, the, and, like the whole media aspect of cryptocurrencies yeah. is really my jam. So, and other than other than crypto, I have a 16 years of background in media only. So I've worked with Disney, right. I've worked with uh, Sony Pictures, I've worked with uh, the best of companies in media space. So, so mm -hmm. traditional media and crypto media, I have I have been working with both of them for the past 16, 17 years. So I I have a deeper understanding of how media works. Right. I mean, so just to start off the conversation, I mean, uh, in a space like crypto where media, news and all of these things can be so influential on the markets, uh, especially with how volatile they are and cryptocurrencies, um, you know, what do you think about something like clickbait and, and, you know, like these underhand marketing techniques that get people into something, but they're not necessarily fundamentally valuable? What's your take on, on something like that? So I think that's that's the major problem which the industry is facing right now because uh, as the industry is not regulated, nowhere in the world, in fact, uh, you can say that there there is a country where you have a hundred percent regulation. So in every country, the the regulatory space is evolving. Uh, so what is happening when there is no clear regulation, when there is no clear guidelines? So every country is seeing a, a massive increase, not just in terms of number of retailer retail consumer. Also in terms of startups as well, which are entering into the space. So everybody uh, who enters into the space uh, doesn't require any kind of license, media license to operate. So what is happening that a lot of news agencies, a lot of uh, self-proclaimed news websites are entering into the space. And not just news websites, you have a lot of YouTube channels, you have Telegram channels, a lot of other media stuff is uh, is entering into the space. And the whole objective is, uh, you know, uh, so some are obviously doing quite a good job, legitimate job, but most of them are here to make money and what is happening that as a new cake comer when they enter into this space they're always they always uh, get to enter into the space through their uh, you know to somebody who must have referred to them so maybe uh, i was referred to i was told about this industry from my friend somebody uh, from their family so what happens they also uh, apart from telling them about this industry they also tell them that which media you need to follow which telegram channel you need to join which youtube channel you should you should watch out for. So what is happening that as the number of people are increasing, the number of outlets are increasing, and obviously some are 
and here to just to you know make money and there are a lot of uh, channels lot of news agencies which are just shilling coins and obviously that's a that's not a good news at all not just for retail consumer from a regulatory perspective also uh, we c- continue to listen that there was this uh, outlet who was trying to shill some project some coins and people suffered a lot of lo- losses in fact there were a lot of ponzi scheme in 2017 if you remember manu uh, yeah, there was yeah. a time when uh, when ponzi schemes were uh, pushed through these channels to people and people uh, used to invest uh, in those ponzi scheme based uh, on on these media outlets so i think that's the space is evolving uh, i think in future when you have this regulatory uh, things getting cleared i think there will be some guidelines for media as well but as of now yes uh, one need to be very very careful uh, once they have stepped in into this industry no for sure yeah i mean like um uh, anna do you have anything to add to that like uh, on the, on the topic question was about clickbait and uh, probably as a target of uh, every media uh, of uh, every publication uh, to get uh, as more views as uh, possible so the news uh, became viral and etc and they spread it everywhere and uh, how we can see by the people's behavior what's interesting to the audience uh, the most uh, clickbait uh, gets the articles about some coins rising uh, high just in a matter of hours or in a matter of days or oh, as well some other breaking news like for example today's news is probably uh, another purchase uh, by micro strategy of uh, 5050 bitcoin so it's uh, quite bullish news um, for crypto and i guess so, so, such types of news get uh, get a lot of clicks uh, get a lot of um, views for sure yeah i mean i think that's like one of the biggest dilemmas when it comes to the media right i mean you have something that people want to hear and you have you know the like you know the supposed objective truth and then yeah. you one is obviously more incentivized than the other so how do you maintain that integrity um do you guys have any thoughts yeah and as well for example we have uh, our youtube channel too and each time we think what will be um, uh, the best title for it and for example we make uh, interviews with different projects so mostly interview can be related like to the roadmap of for the project to some like their technical explanation etc but a lot of projects have as well their own tokens so we think that it will be better to put a, a title uh, to be clickable uh, like if will that coin will go like x uh, x x x and such titles get a lot a lot of views definitely i mean it's it's part of like the like there's a subculture in the in the crypto space about the whole you know get rich quick if you look on a lot of telegram groups are just people asking which which coins are going to pump and uh, I, I mean do you think that's healthy for the space do you think that's just part of how it is uh, and how it's going to be um any thoughts kashi yeah so uh, so if you see as the internet has uh, has been growing in the country because uh, india is one of those country where internet is one of the cheapest right uh, if you compare it with the even the developed nations like us and europe india is one of the cheapest uh, internet uh, yeah. you know when it comes to costing of internet so what is happening as uh, we are close to 600 million people using internet today and it is projected by 2025 will be having close to 900 million people using internet so just imagine that the amount of internet users india is going to have in another couple of years so what is happening with the smartphone and internet you have this entire gateway uh, to to the world you know you can access all those medias and all those platforms so what is happening that when in the crypto space or even in the traditional stock market as well the channels which were teaching stock markets have grown have are growing many folds and you cannot stop that because it is not possible virtually to track every channel and for any agency to figure out that who is who is doing a legitimate work and who is not doing it so somewhere the onus lies on the user as well before entering into the space they need to figure out which are the good channels uh, you know and they need to differentiate and they need to understand the industry first that what is this industry is all about it is not only about speculation and it is not only that you will be successful only when you will trade 
even if you'll invest and if you invest on regular basis like a sip or dollar cost averaging basis you will be successful but what happens that whenever you are told uh, crypto from your friend or family members they always tell you your life will change just enter into it just invest yeah. your life is going to change you are going to sleep on a yacht you are going to go on a cruise ship your life you'll you'll like you'll be able to change your wife even so that kind of <laughs> that kind of narrative is told to people people get excited about it and what happens that when they end up you know and there is this domino effect when they see people around making money uh, so and and they go on twitter and social media and they see wow people are making a lot of money then they get uh, you know motivated to enter into trading and without any knowledge and they end up losing money what is happening you're absolutely right clickbait attempt is not a new thing for crypto even yeah. in traditional media also you have those clickbait attempts and similarly those attempts are being followed here by the crypto media as well but in crypto it is more dangerous because in normal traditional media yes you are not investing in it but you are obviously as a citizen you are getting a wrong information mm -hmm. but here your clickbait attempts can make you lose money as well that is more dangerous and i think uh, with the evolving regulation i think the, there comes the consumer protection laws and then you'll have those media also getting regularized in a sense but at this very juncture yes uh, the user mm -hmm. need to be very careful before moving ahead yeah i mean uh, when it comes to like a large part of blockchain and cryptocurrencies is like you know self ownership mm -hmm. and saying that you don't want an intermediary taking responsibility for your assets so i mean uh, a part of it sure like the media is uh, involved in, in in all of these mm -hmm. uh, in promoting these schemes but like i mean at the end of the day you you are responsible for your own for your own things um in terms of like you know the, the cryptocurrency space has grown so much over the last few years um like it's absolutely incredible um but you know with that you've also got uh, an abundance of new sources some you know less reliable than others um so do, do you guys have any any uh, tips for like you know navigating the space and like finding authentic sources and what what do you look for when when you're trying to balance okay is this guy incentivized to get me to buy this or is he actually just like telling me about a good project you're right so 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 if if somebody is new to the space and entering into the space somebody uh, so first they they need not rush into things right they need to okay fine if they put in money so they don't have to put all their money they first they need to understand that okay fine what is their what was their in their disposable income what was that part of money which they were wasting or putting it at places where they don't even know where they are putting it so each one of us even you and me you know even today if we figure out there must be say that 10 15000 worth of expenditure every month we must be doing at places where we even don't know there must be some investments where we have not even checked their fund value for the past one year or two year that who is going to see that LIC policy or I don't know what the what fund uh, value is that might be having. You need to, you can take out those, uh, th that money, just collate that thing. And then you just put in that money into crypto space. And then after putting in your money, you don't have to rush into trading. Just put it into Bitcoin first. Start your first step with Bitcoin, not even Ethereum, I'm saying. Just understand Bitcoin first. And once you've entered into this space, put in the money or money into Bitcoin, then see and just figure out, okay, fine, what are the legitimate channels? What are the good channels available? And you don't have to really do a lot of research. Even if you follow the educational platform of, of exchange like Wazirx or CoinDCX, and not even that, even if you follow Binance Academy, today Binance Academy is in itself is a university. If you go there today, even I learn a lot from Binance Academy. So if you go there, you'll end up learning a huge amount of uh, knowledge from these platforms. And after that, uh, then if you want to get information, there are a couple of them which are doing a great job like Coin Telegraph, Coin uh, Desk, Decrypt uh, dot co, the Block Crypto, and then in India we have Coin Crunch, we have Bit Innings, we have uh, you know so many other channels as well so there you can go and get a lot of information and you don't have to join any telegram group telegram group you will not end up uh, learning anything you need to go to finance academy or coin dcx dcx learn is doing a great job you can have a crypto kanun uh, education series where we have made 50 videos from zero to DeFi. 
so that's yeah. the journey in step by step 50 steps you can take so th those kind of information is already available but the whole thing is that you need not rush just be calm uh, this industry will does take correction even if the bitcoin will reach 64 or 1 lakh us dollar it will make a correction one day and it will come back uh, to yeah. its to a price where you can make an entry and we all, we have all witnessed it that even today after 64000 uh, us dollar it came back to 29 28000 us dollar so industry will give you chance you are not late into it you're still early uh, you need not uh, rush into it and get into that domino effect of others are making money i have not been making money i have missed the bus let me just get into in and all out and let me try my hands in small caps and do start doing trading for sure, yeah. A lot of lot of panic and FUD uh, has a lot of effect, and you know the media does play a role in that. Uh, whether it's responsible or not is obviously the debate. Um, but I mean, in in like this is to both of you. Uh, in you you've both been in the crypto space for quite some time now, and uh, you know seen like the media and the events that have happened. So if you had to pick one to say that that was your favorite or that was the moment that made you sort of start thinking about the space a little more. Um, what would you what would you point to? Uh, are you asking to me? Yeah, I, I mean Anna also could answer either of you. Um, okay, so so uh, so let me just tell you something that see, no, even you pick any media outlet, right? I will not say it's hundred uh, percent genuine or original or it has a purpose at the end of the day every media house is here to make money right sure. and they have or you know their revenue model is advertisement and sponsored post so most yeah. of the media outlets have a policy around it so once they they write a sponsored article they do mention at times what happens that uh, a normal person a normal guy is not able to identify between a sponsored post and a normal post it is like guys like us who are there in this industry can figure out. But yeah. imagine a masses from a smaller cities. They, 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 they think that this news is a genuine news or a legitimate news and it is not been paid for. But at the back side, we know that, you know, that is a sponsored post. So media outlets need to figure out a way out that, that you know, when they are writing something as sponsored, that uh, segment should be altogether different or the or the they should be highlighted in such a way that even a normal person can figure out i have seen that uh, media outlets are becoming so smart that you're not able to figure out from the article but once you read the article somewhere in the middle they mention that it's a it's a sponsored okay. article so that's a dangerous sign because a normal guy person will tend to believe that and based on that story that person will invest so Always remember, even CoinDesk is uh, back. Is uh, you know they have the founder has a vested interest in many other altcoins, and th that is backed by a crypto company. Even Coin Telegraph, you know. So you need to be very careful while believing them. If you really want a genuine, neutral kind of an information, then Twitter is the best place where uh, you can follow some very uh, you know uh, legitimate people there who are like founders and and from them you you can learn a lot of things and the real information and news can come like suppose you want to understand what happened with binance so various media outlets will come up with different kind of a news but then you straightforward go to cz's account and you can figure out okay what cz is saying and suppose there is a fud around coinbase or there's a fud around tether we have seen that how many times in it's been almost 12 months that news platforms have been trying to manipulate the news of tether and we continue to hear news around ripple many media outlets say ripple case is going to get solved many others say that it's not going to get solved so what whom to believe so in this whole chaos and confusion you need to be very careful and uh, make your own judgment you should not believe any media outlet blindly that's right. I mean, Anna, Anna do you have any uh, thoughts on, on this topic of, uh, you know, I think you're, I think you're on mute. One second, guys. Uh, I 
it is still muted. One second. Anna, are you sure, um, are you, sure you can't uh, unmute from your phone? It's not, uh, there's no like um, microphone icon. All right, hey Manu. Hi, Vijay. Hi. Uh, uh, so yeah, I think there's some sort of issues on Anna's end with the microphone, and I can't uh, see. Yeah, 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 I, I, I'm not able to uh, do that from my end as well. Fair enough. Uh, we can wrap it up. We can take a couple of questions from the chat if that's okay. Kashif, if you're still there, you can answer. Yeah, question. I, I can. I'm there, and I understand. So there seems to be some yeah. technical issues. I think that's yeah. okay. Yeah, it's all, all right. about it's, it's trying, a virtual, virtual world. And, it is, and you you can't help it. <laughs> you really cannot. It's yeah, okay. I, and if you can keep trying to unmute, if you, if you can, we'll bring you on board and we can answer some of these questions. Uh, we can take a couple of them, if that's okay. Danish Shulhasan asks, uh, so how can we figure out the right resources to learn regarding forex or crypto trading, and also uh, is there a, which news can we rely on, uh, which is legitimate? which is a legitimate source so first uh, there is whenever you you're trying to figure out uh, that you know you want to take a decision based on a particular news so it should never be one source it should never be one website where you're looking at and before so there are some couple of things which I'll explain you so what happens if if an article has just written an article and there is there's no link of uh, uh, so sub suppose in that article they are saying the CZ said this. So that article should have mentioned the link of Twitter or that uh, that uh, uh, you know or that blog where he actually said something. Source. If that is if that is not there, you should not rely on that because if if the article would have done this, you could have just clicked on that link and gone to that actual uh, what uh, CZ said. So do not believe that article first of all number two if the article is writing something and they have not g given a fact so if they are not saying that this is based on the fact which is mentioned there or a source you should not believe that article right if the article is talking about you know a, something which which is giving you a feeling of bullishness about a particular coin even if they have not written a sponsored post you should not believe that article because you never know uh, the the agency might have you know uh, filled their bags before publishing their uh, that news i'm not saying all the agencies does that but i'm telling you there are close to 125 uh, you know uh, crypto media outlets which, which which gets accessed around the world you know in different languages and all so 125 are well known and there are thousands which are not even known and working behind the scenes so Whenever you want to take a decision about a particular on basis based on particular news, first you need to do, you need to figure out that if the same news is has been published by other uh, news websites as well. After seeing that, go on Twitter, and on Twitter just check in latest feed, are people talking about that development? After that, go to the uh, Telegram channel of that particular, uh, you know, coin or a project and just figure out is the same thing is being discussed there as well. And after looking at three, four things, then you can maybe frame a decision that, okay, fine, I can take a decision based on this news. N and your trading uh, should never be based on news website, uh, by the by the way. It should always, always be based on your judgment after your research of on based on various other parameters which i just mentioned um 
I mean, I wanted to ask you, like, when you when you think about from the perspective of someone who's trying to learn about cryptocurrencies, they, there are obviously uh, sources in the industry, like you know, like you mentioned, Coin Telegraph, CoinDesk, the block. Um, but like, let's say for a layman, they'll they'll come to uh, the, the Google and they start like googling stuff, and they're going to look to resources that make sense from a traditional perspective as well, right? So our regular news websites, um, your you know your TOIs, your Forbes, your Bloomberg. Um, so you know it's uh, i don't know if you're of this opinion as well but i find that these websites tend to sort of dumb things down they, they make it a little they, they pander to certain narratives that may not necessarily be true and you know this is what the layman uh, experiences right they, they open up the newspapers and they say okay this massive scam is taking over the world when that's not necessarily true so i mean um from that perspective you have like these news uh, publications who are trying to um, be on the side of the community and give out the, the best information possible. And then you have the more like the branded news publications who are giving out this other narrative. So like navigating that, like uh, from, from the perspective of being in the media industry, how do we tackle something like that? So, uh, I think, uh, if you go back to two in 2017 and 16, there was this whole narrative uh, which was said by mainstream media especially they were not even aware of it and they always used to treat the headlines you were always used to be the uh, from a perspective that crypto is always used for blackmailing and kidnapping and and you know uh, uh, dark web you know so in yeah. 2016 2017 came in then you you had these headlines of ponzi schemes and you know those multi-level schemes and uh, running away from the country and you know stuff like that yeah. then in 2018 money laundering took those headlines that crypto is used for money laundering terrorist financing and all that stuff but now if you see gradually the headlines have started to change now in 2019 2020 2021 in, in the entire year if you see toi just google just write down on google bitcoin Google, uh, Bitcoin Times of India, Bitcoin yeah. Indian Express, you'll get all those articles. You'll yeah. be surprised to hear now the tone has changed a lot. Understanding of the industry has changed a lot. And why that is changing? Because now the overall crypto media is also increasing. Crypto media yeah. has, has become quite a big in size. And now these mainstream media guys are saying, okay, they are close to 150 million people in the world. And we have an opportunity these people they flock to these three four websites let's start uh, you know publishing some relevant articles so that we can also get some share from 150 uh, you know to some 1 million maybe 2 million to our websites so suddenly now you see wazir x uh, and cnbc launching a show money control and cnbc launching a show uh, news 18 and zeppe is launching a show Coin switch and other channel and uh, and NDTV has launched a show, so everybody is has tied up with every exchange and are trying to launch a show. So why this thing is happening? Because the numbers are increasing and they also want to be a part of this thing. And I think in future you will see that uh, with the growing uh, with the growing space you will see that a lot of uh, change happening in the mainstream media side. And a lot of uh, positive things uh, will feature on the, and the, as the understanding grows, the mainstream media will also evolve over the period of time. That's right. I got cut out a little bit over there, some network issues. No problem. But um, Anna, any luck with the with the microphone or? So is, is she not able to? Uh, Unmute, so that, I think. That, unmute that icon is not working, I guess, right? I guess so, yeah. yeah. That seems to be the problem mm. with her from her end. Uh, she did try to join from the PC, but there was, was a lot of echo coming. Right. Um, so yeah. on, on, on her PC, she can do, she can maybe uh, do it through microphone, I think that, or headphone. I think maybe. she doesn't have access to a headset. Okay. That's the okay. main issue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, going moving on to some of the questions from the people on stage. Um, what's your take on Wall Street bets when they talk about pumps, crypto NFTs, herd effects? Like the, the whole herd effect of, of Wall Street bets. 
and uh, you know i mean that, that that it's not exclusive to the crypto environment you know we obviously saw the whole short squeeze and gamestop last year um, i think it's a it's a great question whosoever uh, has asked it it's a new trend uh, which is uh, it's it's basically it's a new trend and as the you know industry as the technology is evolving new set of communities and new set of tribes are evolving so you had so first of all you had bitcoin versus altcoins then you had this ethereum killing bitcoin then you had altcoins taking over bitcoin community then you had solana killing bitcoin community then you had atom killing solana community and x killing x x so you have now communities you have yeah. tribes and nobody motivated them it's just that as this space is evolving you have different different perceptions narrations based on that people are getting you know uh, uh, you know uh, fragmented into smaller communities and these communities have same vision same mission same feeling and somewhere you know they have this same belief system and that was that was not very different from the real world where we lived in we also there we used to live in our own tribes similarly that is taking shape here but in the investment world what is happening wall street bets doge community bitcoin community bitcoin maximalism as you say then you have ethereum so these communities are getting formed and they try to pump you know they try to take a collective decision just to just for the collective benefit i think you can be a part of that one of those community but i think in a longer run you'll end up losing why because once you become a part of one tribe you tend to close your eyes from the developments which are taking place at other side as well right and there is a space this space is such a huge space that every body can evolve and grow together some will fail and that's normal in any industry some will fail some will succeed some project will lead some technology will lead and some might be looking very promising but they will fail eventually but you actually don't want to be on the loser side right you want don't want to be a part of the tribe which might end up losing so you have yeah. a new neutralistic neutral view of the industry do not be a part of any tribe just uh, be quite judgment don't be judgmental about it use your uh, you know research study a lot don't try to get, don't get influenced by one set of people and i think take a very informative decision and i'm sure you will be ending up on a winning side so i think my suggestion to that uh, but i'm sure uh, this is not just a solution because you love to be part of the tribe because there you feel uh, you know there you feel part of some mission or some tribe that and that is normal which which i can understand but i think in investing don't try to become a part of of a tribe that is what i can suggest you i mean yeah you have the elon musks and, and yeah 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 all of that the... that's okay to that's okay to do a one off trade and make money but i think in a longer run if you uh, get associated with one kind of a tribe then you will end up on a losing side by because you will not look at other, any other project any other tribe and you lo look at them with a hostility you know with an attitude which uh, which will not help you in the longer run sure makes sense right um i believe uh, that's all the time we have Uh, thank you, thank you, Pasha, for coming in. Yeah, thank Unfortunately, you so much. Sure. We couldn't get to hear Anna a lot uh, due to a yeah, even I'm even I'm beginning as well. Yeah, uh, but it's just very, very unfortunate. Unfortunate, and technically you can't help it out. I because I also do a lot yeah. of these sessions, so I understand it's can it can be yeah. annoying as well. But uh, but in today's world now, the audience also understand that these technicalities do happen and. they are also used to it now it, it virtual world cannot be 100% perfect you, you we have messed up in a real world as well at times so it's okay <laughs> you can let this slide of course you can yeah, yeah a great a fantastic discussion we, nice we got to learn a lot i'm sure the people listening in got to learn a lot as well um we have next session in the next 5 minutes uh it's with jay harrell and and uh, it's on uh, defi surviving defi so in the next 5 minutes we will we're going to be joined with uh, 
uh, Jay. And again, thank you so much, Kashif. Thank you so much, Anna. Uh, really unfortunate we couldn't get to hear you. See you the rest of you in uh, next five minutes. See you. Thank you very much.